So this here and this here is a representation of that plasma membrane. And what this is doing is actually two things. It's showing you the difference between eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells, and it's also showing you where the cytoplasm is located. So this is a prokaryotic cell. There's no nucleus, but there is a nucleoid. There, there's a region in which you have a higher concentration of DNA, where the chromosomes of the cells are, are located. But those chromosomes are not surrounded by uh, membrane. And by contrast, in the eukaryotic cells, you have a membrane, the nuclear membrane or nuclear envelope, as it's called, that surrounds the chromosomes. Now, normally, inside the cell, these chromosomes, the DNA is found as this tangled mass called chromatin that's difficult or impossible to see through a light microscope. But when you have cell division going on, uh, the mitosis and meiosis, which we'll be talking about in, I think it's chapter 7, the next chapter, uh, what you have is the uh, formation of condensed forms of DNA protein structures that we call chromosomes. But normally you just see this tangled, actually you don't even see it, but there's this tangled mass of DNA protein structures called chromatin. And in eukaryotic cells, this is found inside of a, actually a double membrane in this area called the nucleus. But outside of the nucleus and inside of the plasma membrane, or simply inside of the plasma membrane in the prokaryotic cells, you have this area, this liquid called the cytoplasm. So that's what I'm attempting to, to, to emphasize here. And also, just so you have an appreciation that prokaryotic cells not only are simpler than eukaryotic cells, but they're also much smaller. This is approximately the size of a prokaryotic cell relative to the size of a eukaryotic cell. So they're hundreds, if not thousands, of times smaller in terms of their volume. So they're simpler and they're smaller. 